The spider's egg is so good. Really? Ask that egg sucks? Yes, disgusting. So this is an unboxing video. I actually just filmed it, but the camera, for some reason, turned itself off. But anyway, this is a SRAM Red Power Meter unboxing. So what you get in the box is you get your little pretty, that does look pretty sexy, doesn't it? That is probably the best looking Power Meter on the market. I reckon it is. In my opinion, it is. The red, the black, looks pretty good. High vis would be cool. Um, this is my first Quark product. I'm not really sure if you're familiar with it, but I'll watch some YouTube videos how to set it up. What is this little goo -do hickey here? Is this a, a battery cap or... Oh, here we go. It's coming undone. I'm pretty sure this is a battery cap, isn't it? I hope I'm not breaking it. Um, oh, yeah, that's, the, that's the battery cap. So it takes a, a CR32. Okay, so we just put it back on, on there like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Always wanted that, that little thing was. I suspect it was battery cap. That's pretty easy to change the battery, isn't it? And then we just tighten it up, hand, hand tighten. There we go. So that's the GXP. Um, I run GXP cranks. So I put this on the Serato, I reckon. Or the bamboo bike this week. Indie pack bike pre bike post bike build. It comes in little spaces things. Where's that little space going? These things. Do you use these? I don't really use these. I'm not even sure what they're necessary. But they often come with the SRAM crank. Anyway, so that's the beautiful little power meter there. It does look nice and shiny and matte finish. And then we're going to go to chain rings. I've already opened this up before. 3450 is my, my favorite combo for road. Actually, though, the, the 4630 that's coming out soon definitely uh, would be my preference um, in the future on adventures sort of riding, like indie pack style. But that's a 5034. It says it's 11 speed, but in my experience, 9 speed, 10 speed, they all work. They're pretty cost compatible. It does say SRAM only chain. In my experience, any chain will work 11 speed, 10 speed, 9 speed. But I've got 11 speed chain, so I'll run the SRAM 11 speed with that. Uh, but it is very f nicely finished, and it does, it's really pretty. That's really uh, amazing engineering there. It looks cool anyway. <laughs> it looks cool, and half of the bat cycling is looking cool and using it. And so it's got little uh, aligned pins there, so make sure you've um, lined it up properly. So those little that pin and that pin will go together and uh there we go but if you have any any questions hit me up down below hidden bolt uses 50 tooth aligned crank arm here okay interesting stuff so it's got a fair bit of text on there to read that's pretty cool make it easy don't they? make it easy but you can always go to google images and have a look at it if you're not too sure but that's the shram cork the new latest red one and uh thought i'd give it a bit of a run see what it's like you got any questions or comments, hit me up down below. I don't think that's, that's all we've got in the box. That is, that is correct. I'll chuck it all in the recycling, as I do every video. Thanks for your questions. Thanks for everything. Carve the fuck up, and we'll, uh, we'll see you on the road. Yeah. This is indie pack training? Yeah, just curling my muscles down. Curling the muscles down. Today. Yeah. Right out again in that third spot behind him uh, is uh, Matthew Fallon, and then you got Stephen Jobs, and then you got Tim Earl and uh, Brad Kiddo. On, and I'll then be, probably you the, uh, the, the winner will come there. from that top eight. It's going to be, be uh, Mark Jones. Go on, Mark, uh, three, come on. Come up with about 100.